Super easy. I like to go in from one side of the shrimp tail right through the other. Some people like to bite the tail off. Some people like to tear it off. Some people just like to leave it like that. It's all up to you. So that's in the side. That's so a it. lot of people like going underneath the uh, bottom of the shrimp and out the top. You Some prefer, people do. You hey, prefer it from the side. I, I, do, I do it both ways, Dylan. Okay. I like underneath the shrimp and out the top personally. Okay. But that's, you're saying it, it works to, both to ways. It's around. All right. Uh, super easy. I bring it right to the tip. I get more distance that way. And I'm, sl I'm slinging that lead out there. Never overhand cast. No, Always under. Not allowed to overhand cast on this boat. It's not allowed. <laughs> Always underhand. You can slide that thing out there early. So are you casting for distance? You know, I do. I do kind of uh, go for distance. But if I see hogfish coming up right next to the side of the boat, I'm surely not going to throw it out there as far as I can. I got you. Know, you. I'll drop them straight down. I let it sink all the way down to the bottom. Bring, bring my line taut and just pull up one time and let, it, and let that egg sinker sink back down. And when I do that, I draw in the line tight and then um, I'll pull it again. Same thing. So Real tight. cast then, out, let the lead hit the bottom, right? retrieve the slack till the line is tight. So the line, so you see how see it's tight? My rod's even bending because I've, I've got it just taut. And that's how you're going to feel that bite. Tight enough to feel the lead, but not tight enough to that's disturb right. it on and the bottom. Sometimes they'll hammer it. A lot of times they hammer it when you just do that lift up. And bang, he's on there. You reel as fast as you can to get that hook set in him. Yeah. And, uh, so cast it out, let it hit bottom, retrieve the slack until the line right. is tight enough to feel the lead, but not disturb it. Lift the rod tip up, let it sit. Then about yeah. 30 to 60 seconds, lift the rod tip up again, retrieve the That's slack, right. keep it, repeating that process. And if you're feeling it, sometimes you can get, get a, a couple jerks in there just to get a little attention, get those beads clicking around. Yeah. And uh, that yeah, that works too. I do, you know, it, it all varies, you know. So the but, idea is to basically cast out and then kind of walk the dog, walk that lead back to the boat. That's right. And once I get pretty close, if especially if they're not catching the hogfish right next to the boat, I'll reel I'll reel it right in because when you're using that light of a lead and you have a lot of people that are using rental rods with 3 and 4 ounce leads that are straight down, you don't want to get involved with the tangle with that. Yeah. So you just get it back in and do it again. Yeah, I didn't get a hogfish this time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. I kind of want to reel that up. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for, Bonnie. Yeah, baby! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! yeah. Wow. Nice. Woo. Nice. Fight that, Estelle. Oh, yeah. There you go. Did you get our first one, Estelle? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. This might be the horgy from the motherland. <laughs> Coming up, that color. Big hog. It's a big hog. Big hog fish. Where is it? Oh yes, a stall found him. Got it. Yep. Big hog. It's a big hog. That's a that's a that's that's media for the for the Hubbard Marine website right there. Yeah, chicken rig. Chicken rigs.
lifting gear right now, trying to raise him. What's it like coming on to the reel? Is it tough? Is it heavy? Oh, I saw something. I saw color. There's color. Oh yeah, we got color. Yeah, there it is. Deep color. Yeah. Their shoulders. Whoa. Okay, we're placing bets now. 